Come check out my new merch store on Society6. Find the link in the description down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and uh, in the last episode we got curb stomped. Not only us, but Colony 5 and us got curb stomped by Mobius L and X. Um, yeah, they kicked our ass. Um, we need to reset up our team a little bit. Um, we don't have a great team. We need more than one healer. I didn't realize that we only had the one healer. The fact that we made it as far as we did is honestly kind of amazing, considering that. Um, you have to be in this, I believe. Is that true? I'm coming with you. Maybe not. Right. Well, let's let's uh, figure out who we want the other people on the team to be, and then we'll go from there. Um, okay, maybe we'll make you. Let's see. I like you in Lost Vanguard. You know I like my war medics. Yum Smith seems okay here. Stalker, I don't love, if I'm being honest. Okay. In most attacking classes, you seem to be pretty damn good. S rank flash fencer. Leave the enemies to me. War Medic and Stratagos, I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with you and Yum Smith. So yeah, you and Flash Fencer is probably pretty good. I'm coming with you. Then bring in Valdi. Seems like it's allowing us to switch them out, so. Get up. Okay, not going great. Can't seem to get aggro on me. Do we even have topple? If so, then we can maybe try and go for something like that. No. Take this. Keep hitting hard. You won't get away. I 
just need to be careful that I don't leave myself with only healers. This should guarantee to bring back, um... Uh, Noah, yeah. I might have the answer. Okay, we started with Tyon. We're not going to make it on the next one. How about this? Damn. Oh, we're not done yet. How about something like this? You rock with this mine. Yeah, we messed that one up hard. What a waste. So if we fail again, what we're going to do is we're going to try going after um, X first. Since I'm asleep... Oh, you know what? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I thought that that would leave me out of the uh, chain attack, but it didn't. Probably should have guaranteed that Noah came back with a defender. Would have been the smarter thing to do. Yeah, this one's gonna be another failure. I just thought of a great idea. I might have the answer. We can make this one happen, so let's do the Ouroboros a, a little bit early. I think we misplayed it enough that uh, we we should. Let's 
Sometimes it's a better option. Can't see. <laughs> Almost went down there. <laughs> okay.
off round of attack. I'll make it. Okay, make sure we start with the healer. Don't lose it at the end. Don't lose it at the end. Keep your thread. Taeyong must have taken a big hit there because we were all full at the end of that thing. Dang, Neo. That was a lot of damage. Let's see if I can pull aggro. Come on. Come on. Taunt and stuff didn't do shit there, did it? Dropped everything I had on this guy and I couldn't even pull it. Get out of that! Get out of it! Get out of it! Come on! Oh, we only had to take down one? Get the hang of this. Killing Mobius and all. Interesting. Cheers for the compliment. I wonder if we may not have even been capable of, like, fighting X. Hmm. But I'll tell you one thing. I ain't doing this because I like it. I'm just doing this to survive. You don't change. You're still just a grunt. You're desperate to kill just because you're afraid of dying. That's where you're wrong. This isn't just for me anymore. A lot of people's hopes are riding on this. So now I ain't afraid. I'll carry these hopes as far as I can until we've made the world how it should be. Oh, well said. All right, how far can you take this? Guess I'll wait and see. Oh, look! Just can't wait to escape, can you? Well, of course. I'm a busy girl, after all. Can't spend all my time playing with you. Bye bye So what would have happened if we would have targeted her first? 
I wonder. <laughs> huh? What's it all been for, eh? All of our fighting. We struggle on and on. But at the end of the day, it never ends. As long as we live, all we can do is fight on. That's not going to change. You're saying there's no escape? Depends how you look at it. Sourcing ingredients and growing crops. You'd call doing those things a struggle, wouldn't you? <laughs> you say some weird stuff. Hmm. Fight, struggle, they're just words. And what's important is not the words, it's what you do. In it. What's inside's the most important thing. You know, I think I'm starting to get it. I've got you, Ethel, and all the others to thank for it. So, you're not afraid anymore, then? We're the same as everyone else. We're not perfect. Even now, we still feel fear from moment to moment. And still, you'll go on? Yeah. We want to make sure we'll walk the path we want to, just like Ethel once did. No matter where it goes, right? Side story uni. Turns out colony ranks were devised by Mobius to stoke the colony's thirst for war, but still, the adventure must go on. And class rank limit has been broken for Medic Gunner. Rank cap for this class is now lifted. Class rank can now reach level 20. Cool. Alright. So it sounds like anybody can do that, but when it really comes down to it, I should probably do it with Uni herself first, don't you think? But we have to teach other people Lost Vanguard before we do that. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, let's see. Stratego still needs to be learned by you. I think you're probably the only one left on that one. Um, everybody except you has learned Leave Stalker. So we'll put you back into Stalker for a hot second. And Yumsmith is so unbelievably close. You can see barely a pixel at the top of that one for Uni. <laughs> and you've got a little ways to go on that one too. Okay. Um, what am I going to put you in? In cursor. Yeah, let's put you in in cursor. Cool. Didn't realize you got that, but I'm happy about it. So we've got three people who have gotten in cursor. Cool. Everybody's learned Lone Exile, so maybe we'll let you finish out Guardian Commander? I'll keep us safe from harm. You're pretty good at that. You're good at that one. And you're good at that one. Okay. Leave the healing to me. I could have you start working on that and do this, especially since we're so close anyway. And then if we do that, then you work on Thaumaturge? You're not as good at that. Maybe we'll finish out your war medic. I'll take the offensive then. We're better to monitor the battle than on healing duty. Okay, so at 15 you get Eternal Formation, the Master Skill, and at 20 you get Healing Ring as a Master Art. Okay. We're better to monitor the battle than on healing duty. We're better to monitor the battle than on healing duty. I'm not really strategically hunting down certain skills. But I bet you that there are some really good synergies if you uh, specifically hunt down those uh, abilities. So. Something to think about. Definitely something to think about. 
Okay. Now, is there a way for me to tell if other classes have, um, missions like that available? I don't know. At your service. Make sure everybody is outfitted. Do exactly as I say. You, you want me to leave? Might as well, yeah? Okay. So this might be a good time for us to... Look around our maps for uh, new question marks. Okay, first off, let's just uncover a little bit more of this map. Just so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> okay. I think we're pretty much good here in this area. We do have that interconnected um, hallway down there that Agnes and Kevis have got uh, bolted down, but... Um, also, I wonder if there's anything back in that cave again. Do we want to go back over here? We probably do. Kind of teleported us back out, but we want to go and check that out, don't we? Okay, let's go and do that real quick. We're gonna go back through those caves. Um, am I turned around? Nope, we're going the right way. We're going to check out that point of interest, see if there's anything else back there. And uh, then we're going to start visiting different colonies, talking to people. So the interesting thing is, is that I think Not me worry. talking to some kid in City, um, where he mentioned the four-leaf clovers or whatever. It was a rumor, actually, that did it, didn't, wasn't it? Yeah, so... We need to go around and see if there are rumors in the colonies and we need to check out any question marks because I bet you that more than just Eunice has been unlocked at this point. And I'd be interested in uh, picking more of these up. So obviously X is going to be showing up again later. I want to know what those colored scars are. We've seen it on two characters now. There's something significant to it. We just don't know what. It's rude of them to teleport us out of here. Don't they know I have to finish exploring? Okay, there's a unique back there that we 
can't do too much about. <laughs> See, there's loot. Can't leave this hey, behind. Can I get a hand here? On it. And there. Come on, don't fail me now. Man, this poor colony. So is there flame clock? It's It's out. How does that work? We didn't destroy it, did we? Is this like a rare thing? And if we didn't destroy it, then it can't be completely out if those four people survived. Right? Better give it a good one, Toba. Hey, can I get a hand here? <laughs> and nothing. Oh, never mind. Transcendent Tenderloins. Oh, see, this is exactly why my loot sense was tingling. This is exactly why we came back, ladies and gents, is to get all of those Transcendent Tenderloins. Hell yeah, dude. Winning. Okay. Oh, good thing we found this. All right, we've done quite a bit of exploring. So at this point, maybe one thing that we can do is go and see if um, if we've gotten any of the Levnesses, Levness parts that we need for this guy over here for this quest. And while we're here, we'll check and see if there are any rumors. Um, it begs the question, I wonder how we're going to unlock um, Ethel's class. Maybe it'll be a quest to do with Borealis. Although the one we just did had to do with Borealis as well, so. Alright, let's see if we have anything new for him. And then we'll do a once around the uh, colony. You kept me waiting, how's progress? Let's just hand the stuff over. It is nowhere, actually. Um, yeah. Um, progress is nothing. <laughs> well, that went well. I guess we really haven't fought that many Agni and Levnuses, have we? We don't run into them super often, all things considered. I feel like we run into a lot more of Kevis. But we are going to be going to uh, Agni and Castle soon, so that's probably going to change. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay, there doesn't seem to be much of anything here at the moment. Um, we've probably almost completed everything here. Uh, all things considered, we have four out of five stars, so that stands to reason. All right, let's check this map. Um, looking for question marks. Um, there's nothing new here either by the looks of it, but uh, maybe we need to get a rumor first. So let's go and check out Colony 30. Um, I don't know when we're going to get access to the next step of the robot here, but let's just see if there are any rumors around here. I've heard the commander here is quite the Levinous gearhead. If we're talking about escorting a thorax, that's a four equites job. Yeah, our one uh, Centaurus, and we'd be all set. Favorite Levinuses. We had a couple things from Tal that we could do as well. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything here. I fancy Toasty with Armu steak. I go with the usual fishy filet. I see, I see. A strange cave was found during an expedition to Dana Desert. Yes, the door, right? The locked door? Oh yeah? Give us the deets. Well, it's clearly not a natural formation. I'd venture it was made by Nopon wings. 
but when I asked those Caravan Nopon, they didn't know a thing about it. If you want her passing by, maybe you'd like to poke your head in. Those lost digits or whatever they're called, they ride on Levenuses that are different from Kevis and Agnes, huh? I hope I'll get to face off against them sometime. I wonder how I can have the commander sign off on that. <laughs> Dude, don't fight if you don't have to, Michelle. <laughs> I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. Oh yeah, we were gonna talk about that thing. Lots of Armus around Colony 30, isn't there? Must be nice for them. Lots of food around and Armu meat ain't nothing to scoff at. You keep saying Armus this and Armus that, but actually the proper term would be Armuidae. The ones with horns are Ardents, while the ones without the are Armus proper. And speaking of meat quality, Armus have more uh, sub subcutaneous fat, making theirs the more flavorful. On the other hand, Arden horns are rich in nutritious compounds, so people grind and mix them in water with water to drink. Any other questions? Oh wow, I didn't know half of that. Tyon, you're awesome. Nobody asks any questions to begin with. What are you, some kind of Armuologist? He just wanted to share, you know? Favorite Levenesses. Required hero, Valdi. Hey, listen to this, will ya? Hey, everyone, I've got something I've been meaning to ask you all. Is it about Levenesses? If so, you should probably address it to Riku, not us. Lance, you are correct, and Tyon, ordinarily, you would also be correct, but... I want to know what everyone's favorite Levenesses are. You mean, like, do I prefer an Equitus or Velitus? Exactly. Well, for me, I guess it's a Thorax. Makes it easier to get around. I like Belanus, myself. They they just look fun. What about you, Tyon? Gyrinus. I suppose it's on the cutting edge of technology. Noah, Mio, favorite Levenus? Huh, I don't think I've ever looked at Levenuses through that particular lens. Me neither. Birds of a feather. What's your fave then, Valdi? Me? Well, obviously it'd have to be... Ah, uh, we know yours already. No need to say it. What? I want to say it. Let me say it. <laughs> It better be, uh, the, the Mecha Friend. If it's not Mecha Friend, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Um, okay, let's not do those ones yet. We're gonna end up at Colony Tau at some point anyway, and then we can pick those up. Ugh, let's be off. But it seems like there's not anything new here either. Okay. <laughs> Okay, look a little bit further south. Okay, we don't seem to have any question marks here. We've got that, and we've got this. Okay, we do need to check out here to see if there's any rumors here. And maybe we should consider just doing that quest, the bugs quest, while we're here. How are we getting through resources so quickly? We need to hurry up with the resupply. Our allied troops are in a tough spot right now. Okay, goods in storage. This might be the second half of that. So this is the illustrious Commander Alexandria's colony. We're at 20% of our remaining stock. And there it is. Colonies get destroyed once they reach gold rank? Can't believe it. I'm afraid it's true. Mortifying, isn't it? And we were already silver. One wrong move and we would have suffered the same fate. It's a spine-chilling thought, all right. People lie. Uh, sorry, didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Everyone hides feelings. Oh, this is the guy who doesn't talk much, huh? Take care of Dame Alex. Okay, Ryza. You're a strange one. I like you. Harvest Day's voting's normally very impartial. We select deserving troops through a general survey of opinion. Except this time I heard Sequoia was the one who pushed for me. 
She won't come up and tell it to you directly, but she likes showering people with praise from afar. That's just the sort of person she is. She can be a bit stern sometimes, sure, but I actually really respect her. Some relationships changed. Senna, your big thing is strength training. Do I have that right? Huh? How did you know? It was the Collectopedia cards. I checked out your history and saw a lot of requests to do with muscle training and stuff. What? It even logs stuff like that? Talk about an invasion of privacy. Eh, intelligence is the foundation of war, after all. You get what the big deal is with Collectopedia cards now? Alright, so... Uh, Colony Iota is basically just Google. Collecting all the info. A Collectopedia card bug? Oh, is this about the comment text? Do you know why it's happening? Interference caused by black fog. Just Still just a theory, though. I assure you, the tool itself is bug-free, and I'm happy to have a word with anyone who isn't. Ugh, touchy subject, eh? Do you keep getting repeated requests from someone called Sif? It's starting to drive me up the wall. Um, let's see. Which colony is Sif from? I remember seeing a Sif. Is it... It's either 4 or 9, I think. One of the early ones. But I could be wrong. Ah, we heard you the first time. Waste of everybody's time and effort. Yeah, spamming messages seems like a surefire way to tick folks off. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe they don't need to get the thing they've requested. Maybe what they want is for the request itself to be seen. Ah, what they've asked for can be found throughout the tunnels, no bother. The black fog's just rolled in around that area too, which means... Spark, something's happened in the tunnels. I can't say for sure, but it certainly looks like something's going on. Thank you for telling us. We'll check it out. Some relationships changed. Okay. Hey, Lexi. Much as I hate to admit it, it appears that Mobius have an information network that spans the length of br and breadth of Ionia's. The fighting is getting ever fiercer. Proceed with caution. So, how are you finding life in a silver colony? Everything about it is so wildly different compared to back home. I'll definitely be bringing some learning back from it, however small. Hang in there with that. Naturally. Okay, another rumor up here. I don't suppose you've seen Salazar around anywhere, have you? She's a bit weird, talks a bit funny. Doesn't ring a bell. Has something happened to her? She's kind of after you? Uh, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, explain? Right, let me start from the beginning. The colony set up a research team to look into energy. One of the researchers is Salazar, who's become aware of your particular power. She's talking about building some kind of Ouroboros cylinder to get that energy into usable form. Interesting. Sounds useful. And it sounds like she's decided we'll make good test subjects. Sounds dangerous. It does seem quite dangerous, yeah. She's not a bad person, she's just very pushy when it comes to this sort of thing. My advice to you is to give the research lab a wide berth, just to be safe. Uh, thanks for the warning. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. Ouroboros hey, research. This, will ya? Uh, what kind of experiments is this person wanting to do on us exactly? Uh, what, are you scared? Well, but what if they catch us? What would they do? Then don't get caught. You know who the enemy is. The research was called... The researcher was called Salazar, wasn't she? According to Kaspar, she seems to spend most of her time at the research lab, close by the northern gate. Well, if the rumors are anything to go by, nothing good will come of associating with her. I suggest we adopt a policy of active avoidance. Makes sense. I'd rather not end up a test subject, either. Let's do what we can to stay far away from Colony Iota's northern gate. Makes me kind of want to go there right now. Goods in storage. Hey, we gotta talk. Colony Iota's storehouse is going to be in trouble pretty soon. Indeed, more people rely on their resources than ever, and we're burning through them rapidly. Do you think we've given out too much? I think that even without that, they need to start considering what they'll do the next time a resupply doesn't arrive on schedule. You don't have to worry about it. I'm the one who asked you to do this, and it's not the first time we've been short on supplies. 
You can't afford to be so glib. If it's causing a strain on the colony, you should re-examine your procedures. We can help out with some short-term resupply runs. It's the least we could do after all the taking we've been doing. Well, in that case, I'll take you up on your offer. As you know, the storehouse is Shell's domain. Let's talk to her first. She's probably already got some ideas, and if you work together, you can be more efficient. Scan supplies accepted. It didn't automatically put that one as active, did it? Let's bounce. No, okay, good. Yeah, and Izzard's still in the party, so it didn't also switch Lexi in. Um, okay, good. Um, of course I have to go to the north gate, right? And I think there's a question mark over there now. Yep, yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Salazar, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We were supposed to avoid, and here I am going right towards the hornet's nest. Uh, what's that? Oh no. What the spark? Cover your mouth and nose, this is... Knockout gas. Uh. Where am I? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Experiments. Explosions. Expanding our understanding of the natural world. It's everyone's best pal, Salazar. Salazar? The Colony Iota researcher? Queen's fluffy tough, so you've heard of me. What have you done to us? Nothing. Yet. Liar. Then how did we end up here, huh? Uh, I'm not lying. I'm just curious. I just want to know about Ouroboros, after all. You are... Yeah, not doing this. Time to get out of here. Uh, don't disconnect. Don't you want to be able to send stuff to your friends? What's she on about? Stuff. Wait. Supply distribution authorization suspended? Too late. Hey, pack it in. Don't snuff around. I'm not snuffing around. I just froze your permissions. Just come along to Namba Mound, and I'll kindly unfreeze them for you. Honest. I want you to come and say hello. I'll be waiting to see you. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll do this one right now, huh? The Ouroboros Experiment. This can only go well, right? Okay, so we're in the Dana Desert. We just need to go to the top of the hill, it looks like. Um, how are we doing on not on coins? I should maybe use a couple. Who? How much does it cost? Okay, it definitely three to seven. So four. That would take nineteen of them. And at 15, you get Eternal Formation as a Master Skill. Increases Field Effect Duration. Cool. Okay. Maybe we should get a Cooking Effect. I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. Ah, oh, much better. Uni's back in action. Ooh, jump over to six. 
so revives them with 32% more HP and healing raised by 10. Get it equipped! I'm already itching to try it. Okay, start each battle with aggro. This one's level five. It's done. I'm already itching to try it. Damn, dude, as these things get higher, they get really expensive with the uh, gold knob on. 40. Good God. That should be about enough. Let's bounce. So these guys level up with you. Because they were definitely not 56 last time we saw that group. Is that a big levness up there? It is. It's a giant levness. Gotta note this all down. Okay, we're maxing out some of our collectibles now. I think we're fighting this thing. Experiments, explosions, expeditious exposition. I'm so pleased you all made it, Ouroboros. Yeah, good for us. Now give back our authorization and we'll say no more about it. Oh, I don't care what you have to say about it. <laughs> Be a sweetie and help me with an experiment, would you? What? Don't bother, Lance. You won't get through to her. Well, looks that way. Makes it easier to give her a good walloping without feeling bad about it. We got new folks on the map. I love this class so much. The incursor fucking rocks. <laughs> we did too much damage. Let's get a little bit closer to our party to get some heals. Oh man. Thanks. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, 
I might go over a hundred. Ooh, careful now. Damn it. Too effective. Thought that was it for me but oh my queen would you look at this fabulous data there's nothing fabulous about it you've ruined our entire day <laughs> but it was worth it i've never seen such high energy reactions and that transformation not even a full flame clock unleashes energy like that it's a scientific marvel is what it is there's no getting away from it ouroboros are walking ether channels and yet, despite that, this is not how we work. Caspar, what are you doing here? Since you left with Eleveness, it wasn't hard to guess what you were up to. Are you sure you want to disappoint Ryza? He'll throw you in the river again. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I had to do it. My results speak for themselves. The subjects are composed of unknown energy. If we can find a way to harness this energy efficiently, we can revolutionize the way we live. I want to bring hope to all of us, and I want to do it during my lifetime. You can't exploit someone and call it hope. Now give back what you took. <laughs> Supply distribution authorization restored. Well, looks like everything's as it was. Are you doing this research to help everyone? Sorry if I hurt you. That's okay, I understand. Oh, I can't believe this. You better be thankful to Mio here. I am. I am. Uh, go on, have this. There you go. A titanium temple guard. It's not rare or anything. What does that do? This is pretty valuable. Can we really have it? Yeah, of course. I'm not going to use it, am I? So you should use it and report back on its effects, okay? Is this another experiment? You aren't even sorry, are you? <laughs> sorry, she's a bit of a one-trick ponyo when it comes to research. I'm going to research some research methods that won't make everyone so angry with me. Thanks in advance for your cooperation. Yep, she's an odd duck. Well, this is what I get. My curiosity. Yep. The party got their supply distribution authorization back. Content with the data. Uh, content with the data, Salazar now eyes new frontiers of research. Level up and rank ups. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. I like it. Um, okay. So. Now, we're gonna go back to bugs. But we're gonna have to do that in the next episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.
I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.